I'm Tamara Green, the executive director of Walpole Media, and I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to see all of you here. This is a strong testament to Jeff and everything that he accomplished in his life. Um, I'm going to say a few words afterwards, but first I want to bring the president of our board, Jim Tatilio, on, who also knew Jeff. Thank you, Tamara. <laughs> Folks, normally when I do something like this, I would just stand here and talk. I've been a teacher my whole life. But there are so many Jeff memories, incidents, quotes, etc., that I am absolutely afraid that I am going to just go off on a tangent and you'll be here until midnight or something like that. Or I'm going to get just confused thinking of all the different things. So I actually wrote something down. This is probably like the only second time in my life I actually am going to speak from a piece of paper for the most part, although I will diverge here and there. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody here, family, friends, etc. cetera. Uh, everybody who's here today to honor the memory of Jeff Matson. Jeff and I were friends our entire lives. We met six years old. I first met Jeff directly across the parking lot of Plimpton School. Front corner closest to this building, Mrs. Kirkton's first grade room. Uh, we liked a lot of the same things we quickly discovered. It took a little bit of time. We found that we both had an interest in the town forest because Mrs. Kirkton took us for a walk the very first afternoon of school around the town forest and back. And this becomes sort of a, an example or an exemplar about Jeff. Uh, we love the town forest. We became friends on that walk because he lived facing the town forest. I lived two blocks that way with my backyard butting up to the town forest. Mm -hmm. The town forest was like this magical place to us. And it became a really important thing in both our lives, but especially Jeff's. To this day, I remember Jeff's sixth birthday party. Partly because it was really well done. Mrs. Matson, you ran probably the best six-year-old birthday party <laughs> I ever attended. Yeah. And if you have photographs from that, there's going to be a very tiny, scrawny, believe it or not, version of me in them. <laughs> because I will never forget, to this day, I will never forget Jeff with a quarter between his knees trying to drop it into a milk jug. <laughs> Which I thought was a great game, by the way. Um, in any case, we went through elementary school together, high school together. Afterwards, we would bump into each other frequently at the coffee shop all the time. We always would catch up with one another. And here's where the important stuff comes in. Jeff grew up to become what is often referred to as a townie. Now, to some people, that's sort of an insult, a townie. But there's a lot of us here. I am a townie. Peter Bitro is a townie. Bill Buckley is a townie. It's to us, it's a badge of honor and a title of honor. And the thing is, Jeff was a great townie. He did it better than any of us ever have. Pete and I were desperate to catch up with him and we never would have. Jeff loved this town and he gave back to it in numerous ways. He worked for the town most of his life. He volunteered at the polls. He was a member of town meeting, and Bill just told me a wonderful anecdote about it, uh, which was hysterical. Um, can I repeat it? Where he, he walked in, and Lincoln Lynch, the superintendent at the time, said, Jeff, this is for town meeting members only. And, and Jeff said, I've been a town meeting member for how many years? 20 years. 20 years. And Link just went, oh. <laughs> So uh, he served on the town forest committee. At the same time, I was on the town trails committee. Jeff was my major source of information, advice, etc., because the two things went hand in hand. He was my source of facts every time I needed them. Years later, when I took over the Walpole High School drama program, I saw Jeff daily. 
for the better part of the next 25 years. He was part of my support system. He was there to help whenever I needed it or my kids needed it, the drama club. And there's a lot of kids involved in that. Whatever we needed, Jeff was there for us, whether it was helping with something or calming someone down or giving somebody a joke, something like that. My kids loved him. He cared about the kids, the drama club in particular, but I think every kid in that school. The very first time after becoming drama director that I used my key code, my key and my code, I set off the alarm instantly on a Saturday trying to get in to do a set. About 45 seconds later, who's at the door? Five minutes before the police arrived. It's Jeff. Big grin on him. And to this day, I can still hear that voice. Um, Geez, Dottilio, it's only four numbers. Point, <laughs> point, point, point. It was hysterical. Oh, it would have been hysterical. It was more hysterical later in retrospect. Finally, there's, well, there's a lot of other things that Jeff served on, but there's a lesser known connection to Walpole Media. He served as a member of the board of directors of our predecessor organization. When I was appointed to the committee that eventually became Walpole Media, Jeff was my constant source of advice, information, updates. He helped me and the rest of the committee see the big picture. And that led to what you see here today. And Jeff was a big part of that. Jeff was a friend to everyone in Walpole, and we are all poor for his loss. But we're a lot better for having known him. He made being a townie an honorable title. Peter and I are townies, Bill's a townie, but Jeff set the standard by which we have to try to live up to. So Mrs. Matson, on behalf Walpole Media Corporation, the Board of Directors, and Jeff's many friends here at the school, I want to thank you for helping us to find a way to honor Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to bring up James now. All of you know who he is, but for people um, from the school and from Walpole Media, he is Teresa's nephew. Great. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Jim, for that lovely tribute. That was wonderful. Um, I am delighted to be here. My name is James Arena DeRosa. I'm Jeff's cousin. I'm here on behalf of the family and saying a few words on behalf of his mom, Teresa. Um, and let me start by thanking Tamara Green, Dave Wood, Peter O'Flaherty, and the whole town of Walpole for this wonderful tribute, Jim. It's just such a nice thing that the town is doing uh, for Jeff Matson. Um, it's hard to believe that it's been five years since Jeff passed unexpectedly. And I was thinking of my own reflections, and I, I went on Legacy just to see what some of the things that people had written about him. And this is wonderful variety of comments about Jeff. It's, they're from classmates, from other people in town, from students, uh, from people that he had worked with. Um, and there was, there was definitely a common theme uh, that came up. And things like Jeff had a kindness about him, that Jeff was a good man who cared deeply about others and cared about the Walpole community. More than one student mentioned that they felt he was always looking out for them. He was that extra pair of eyes, making sure that everything was okay for the students here. And you know, with, with all the ongoing challenges that we have today in our communities and in the country, um, the ongoing strength of our communities is because of people like Jeff Matson, and that we, we build a foundation on people like him. And how many times, and I experienced this, but a lot of cla his classmates mentioned this, how many times did I come back to Walpole for a game or a church fair or a big uh, town celebration, and, and Jeff was there. Uh, very often he was very involved, involved with media or things he was doing with housing or, or as a volunteer, but sometimes just there to be supportive as a member of the community. Jeff was always there. Um, I worry sometimes, and, and you know, Jim alluded to this, I worry that our small towns uh, in this part of the state are, are losing that sense of community. Uh, Jeff and I also, we went to Plimpton School together. It's the field house now, next door, right? Um, but when, uh, and he did grow up literally right across the street on Common Street. And when we were growing up, most of the people 
who worked for the town of Walpole lived in the town of Walpole. 30 years later, when I was uh, coaching Little League Baseball at Halston, I'd say about half of the DPW and teachers and firefighters and people who worked for the town lived in the town. Today, it is very rare that a new employee that works for one of the towns around here lives here because it's so expensive. And it's really sad. It's, it's, it's changing the character of our communities. It's changing the fabric. I think there's this, there's this indelible value of having people from the community to work for the community and be in the community. Uh, so it's, it's kind of sad that we, we're losing that. And of course, it wasn't just where Jeff lived. It was who he was as a person. We all need people like Jeff in our lives, right? And you told so many wonderful stories. It was just great to, to bring back some of the memories of the kind of person that he was. But the world needs more people like Jeff who try to make things a little better and who look out for each other. Jeff loved being part of the Walpole community. And in so many ways, this community was part of his extended family as he got to know everybody in this town. The pain and sadness never goes away when we lose someone suddenly in our lives. But with the passage of time, we can uh, linger a little bit more on the happy memories and think of the good things and all the great things that he brought to this community and to all of us. This tribute to Jeffrey Matson by the town of Walpole will serve as a lasting memory to the kind of man that Jeff was, how much he gave to others, and that Jeff was a beloved member of the Walpole community. Thank you all. I'd, I'd like to actually ask my colleague, Ted Phillips, to come up for a minute. Uh, we're, we did a joint, we didn't tell Teresa this, we did a joint citation from the, uh, from the House of Representatives from the Commonwealth. He actually represents this part of Walpole. He's got both Common Street and Ella Street where That's I grew right. up, which is cool, which is great. Uh, and Ted's going to, and we'll do a picture later with Teresa, uh, but he's going to read the citation and say a few words. Thank you very much. It's really a privilege to be with you all. Um, you know, I could not have said it better than uh, what Jim and James have said about talking about, you know, what it means to be a townie, what it means, oh, I get mic'd up now. Uh, what it means to be a town, what it means to serve the community, what it means to be part of the town. Um, Bill and I actually talk uh, quite a bit about, you know, being involved and, in, you know, if you do enough good things for the town that you live in and uh, you serve it to the best of your ability, that maybe someday that your name does go on a plaque on a wall somewhere. Um, and, you know, the, the wonderful thing is, is that today that happens for Jeff Matson, right? And so, uh, we are enormously privileged to be here um, to celebrate that. Uh, and so, as James said, uh, Ms. Madsen, we have a citation from the Massachusetts House of Representatives honoring, um, honoring Jeffrey in recognition of a lifetime of outstanding service and dedication to the Walpole community, culminating with this dedication here today. Uh, the entire membership expresses its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success. Um, and it was given this, uh, this day in January 2024. This citation is signed by Speaker of the House, Ron Mariano, State Representative Edward R. Phillips, and a very proud State Representative James Arena DeRosa. So congratulations. We'll do a photo with you later. Several months ago, Dave Wood, who's hiding in the back corner there, wave your hand, <laughs> contacted uh, Principal Imbush, who's standing over there, um, and myself, to say that Teresa Matson wanted to give a donation in honor of her son. And frankly, I thought we were talking $500, maybe $1,000, so I was absolutely stunned when she handed us over two checks totaling $20,000. She wanted that money to benefit both Walpole High School and Walpole Media. And after quite a long debate, we finally decided that we were going to take that money and we were going to give it to the Walpole Scholarship Foundation in honor of Jeff Matson, And this will be a scholarship in perpetuity, so his name and his legacy will live on forever. Someone, so I want to thank you all for being here. This is a very special event for us. It's a very special event also, I know, for Teresa and the rest of you. If you haven't seen the plaque that's on the wall, please make sure you uh, take a look at it. Thank you all for coming.